Felipe. Hello, Felipe. Can you hear me? Hear you, teacher. How are you today? Good. Very good. How was the weekend? Yeah, it was very uh, busy because uh -huh. I, 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 I made or I don't know the homework with my children. Okay, I did homework with my I children. I did homework with my children. What subject? Math, science, socials. And then dance at, uh, I don't know. Okay, and where do they study? They study in Santa Cecilia School. Oh, Santa Cecilia, good. Yes. Nice, Santa Cecilia is a good school. Yes, it's very hard, yes. Yeah, it's um, one of the traditional schools in Santa Tecla. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Did you study there in Santa Cecilia? No, I study in Sonsonate. Oh. San Francisco, I am Sonsonate. Good, good, good. Well, San Francisco de Assis, that's a good school too. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's very popular for, um, for, the, for the good education they offer. Yes, they offer good education and the basketball team is very hard. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Good to know. So yes. you studied in that school um, all your life? No, I studied in Salco, the basic school and the medium, I don't know. Middle school. Middle school, I studied in the San Francisco. Okay, good, good, good. All right, Geraldine and Genesis, welcome back. Geraldine, can you hear me? Hola, hi. Hello. Hello. Genesis, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, so here we go with a new week. Time is going very fast. What's today's date? Today day is Monday. Yes, today is Monday. What date? What's the date? Monday what? Doesn't okay. Yes, February seventeenth. February 17th. And what's the year? 2020. 2020 or 2020? The two options are good. Okay, um, do you remember the topics we discussed on Thursday? The adjective. Adjectives. Yes. What is the function of an adjective? To describe the noun. Yes, very good. An adjective describes the noun. That is correct. In English, we have long adjectives and we have short adjectives. A short adjective has only one syllable. Sad. <laughs> describe no. people or things. Right, describe people or things. You have short adjectives and you have long adjectives. And long adjectives have two syllables or more. Okay, what else? What else? Any other topic besides the adjectives? The placement of adjectives? 
Is everything clear? Yes. 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 Okay, so let's begin. Um, this week we have different topics. Uh, we're going to be talking about food. Uh, we're going to be talking about adverbs of frequency, among others. Okay, if I ask you about your diet, do you have a good diet? Do you have a balanced diet? No. No. No, sir. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Do you remember the food pyramid? So mm. oh. Okay. What is the food pyramid? The groups of food that we need to have in our diet. Exactly. The groups of foods, um, and they are classified. And we are supposed to have that food to have good health to have good health. So let me share this with you. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name of the of the picture of the image? Food pyramid. Food pyramid. Food pyramid. Yes. And as you see sections. Do you see the first section? Fat, oil, and sugar. Exactly. Fat, oil, and sugar. What is the meaning of fat? Grasa. Grasa, exactly. Grasa, oil, and sugar. Okay. Can you read this? Can you see the letters? Yes. Okay, it says food pyramid. I need a volunteer to read that section, please. Uh, for good health, eat a lot of cereals, vegetables, yes. and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little. Fat, oil, and soil. Sugar. Yes. Fat, oil, Fat. and sugar. Very good. Thank you. Do we have any questions about vocabulary or meaning, pronunciation? You see the picture here? Yes. Yes. We have cream, butter, cream. candy, oil, oh. and potato chips. Do you remember the meaning of dairy? Lactose. Yes. Can you give me examples of dairy products? Milk, cream, cheese, yogurt. Good, good. Okay, now we go to the second group. We have meat and other protein. I need a different volunteer to read this part, please. For what? Uh, the, the second group. Okay, and beans. Other protein. Yes. So what foods do we have in that group? People, class. What foods do we have in that group? Fish, beans, uh -huh. yep. chicken, nuts. Mm -hmm. Beef. Yeah, nuts, beef, and nuts, eggs. Eggs. Okay. Are there any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation in the second group? Are we okay? Yes. What's the meaning of nuts? Nueces. Nueces. Exactly. In El Salvador, we call it mani. 
Okay, what about the this other group? Dairy. 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 We have milk, we have yogurt, yogurt. and we have cheese. cheese. Do you like yogurt? Yes. yes. Yes, I like. Yogurt is delicious. Yes. I like those pinos. Yes, I it's like... good. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's good. Uh, what's the name of the other one? The one from Mexico? Oh, your plate. Your plate, yeah. your plate is good. Okay. Those pinos is good. All the yogurts are good. Okay, so what animal do, uh, do these products come from? The cow. The cow, exactly, the cow. Who is the husband of the cow? Bull. The bull. <laughs> exactly, the bull. Very aggressive. Where is the cows? Huh? Where is the cows? Cow. Cow. Oh, you oh, mean the, 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 the meaning of cow? No. Or, or the cow. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The husband, like Felipe says, it's the bull. Uh, Ahí le va en el chat de WhatsApp, cow. Uh, like Red Bull? Exactly, like Red Bull. Or like the Chicago Bulls. Okay. Yes. Okay, what about fruits? Do you like fruits? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Doctors they say that you need to eat different fruits of different colors because the difference in colors has different um, benefits, different benefits. So what examples of fruits do we have in that group? Bananas. Bananas. Orange. Oranges. Strawberries. Orange. Strawberries, Apple. mangoes, mango, and apples. And apple. What color are apples? Apples. Red. Red. Only red? Green. The apple is red. Red, green? Apples. And yellow. And yellow, yellow. exactly. Yes. All right, then we have the other group. What is the name of this group? Vegetables. 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 Yes. Um, do you like vegetables? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Okay. Vegetables is not my favorite, but I eat it. Okay, what is the first vegetable that we have here? Broccoli. 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 This one. Carrot. Carrot. Carrots. Carrots. Lettuce. Lettuce. Tomatoes. 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 And the last one is potatoes. 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 Very good. Tomatoes and potatoes. And now we go with brains. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have grains here. What is the first one? Bread. 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 Next one? Cereal. Cereal. Cereal? What's next? Cereal. Crackers. 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 What is after crackers? Rice. Rice. Next to rice? Noodles. 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 And the last one is? Pasta. 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 Yes, very good. Um, any questions about vocabulary in this last uh, section? Noodles is uh, fideos. Yes, noodles are fideos. Yes. What about crackers? How do you say crackers in Spanish? Galleta. Salada. 
Ah. Galleta salada. Porque Perfect. si son dulces, usted dice cookies. Ok. Pero si son saladas, usted va a decir crackers. Crackers. Yes. Do you like crackers? Yes. Yes, yes I like crackers with, with, uh, with, Deep. uh, atum. With tuna. With tuna. Yes, with crackers tuna. with tuna. It's very delicious. It's delicious. Yes, and hot sauce. Trompechucho. Or salad. Or, or salad. Uh, it's, it's delicious with, with yes. tuna. You can, you can use crackers with tuna, salads, dips. Dips. Very good. Okay. Any questions about the food? No. No? All right. So let's go this here. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. What do you see in the image? In the Gmail. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, let me share again. Okay, do you see this image now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What countries do they mention? They use Japan in Mexico. Okay. In Mexico. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, uh, Washington D.C. Yes, Washington, D.C. What is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. 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 In Mexico? Mexico, Mexico yes. City. Mexico oh. City. All right. So we have three different countries. And in these different countries, they give you vocabulary about the different things they eat for breakfast. Look in the United States. What are the options in the United States? Eggs, bacon. With butter, orange juice, yes. coffee, and jelly. Very good. What is jelly? What is it? What is jam, jam jelly? Jam okay. jelly. Yeah, the two options are good. Does anybody know the meaning of jelly and jam? Halea. Yes. The, ah. Yes, the, it means halea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you see the food? Can you see the food? Yes. Okay. What is this here? Eggs. Eggs. Yes. Yeah. Bacon. Uh, well, bacon. yeah, I think it's bacon. And what is bacon. this here? Orange juice and coffee. Yes, orange juice and coffee. Do you drink coffee? No, not at all. Pamela, you don't drink coffee? No, I don't like coffee. Oh my goodness, you don't know <laughs> what you're missing. Everybody like told me that. Yeah, you don't know what you're missing. Okay, what about Japan? What's what is the menu for a meal in Japan? Fish, fish rice, 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 pickles, pickles, and green tea. And green tea. Green tea. What is pickles? Anybody knows pickles? Pepinillos. Yes, pepinillos. Like the ones you put in hamburgers, like when you go to McDonald's, Burger King, and things like that. 
Okay. Pickles, yes. Pickles. Mire, y aquí está el secreto por qué los japoneses tienen el mayor, uh, el, el índice más alto de vida. Ahí está, mire. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea has magic. Green tea has magic. Yes, really? Yep, yep. Le mata el colesterol malo, le trae oxígeno adicional a su corazón, le baja los niveles de azúcar. It's really good. It's really good. Y los japoneses mm. se lo toman como algo normal, pues. Hay una cantidad like de... water. Exactly. Y por esa razón hay una gran cantidad de enfermedades que nunca los visitan a ellos por el green tea. What about Mexico? Eggs. Eggs. Tortillas. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Ajá. Like here. Exactly. It's very similar to a Salvadorian breakfast. Yes, it's similar. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. Tortillas. 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 Tortillas or tortillas? Tortillas. You say tortillas. Yes, tortillas. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Do you prefer the traditional breakfast or do you prefer pupusas? Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> okay. So you take turns. Yes. Turns. All right. Good. Um, algo más que tengamos en el desayuno salvadoreño que no está aquí incluido? Plátano. Plátano. Uh -huh. How do you say plátano in English? Banana. Banana. Uh, not really. Ahí está en, escrito en el chat de WhatsApp. Ahí se lo acabo de poner. Plantain. 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 Yes. Banana. Plantain. Banana is the fruit. Plantain uh -huh. is what we have for breakfast. Do you like plantain? Plantain. I like plantain. Como dice plátano frito. Fried. Planting. Fry planting. Fry planting. Yes. Anything else? Algo más que quiera agregar al desayuno? No. Tomatada. Cheese cream. Yeah, cheese cream. Cereal, cereal pancake. Ah. Good. Nice. Anything else? Do you prefer tortillas or French bread? I prefer tortillas. Okay. Tortillas. Tortillas. And the others? Do you prefer tortillas or bread? Both of them. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Okay. Tortillas so rusty salads. Rusty. Tortillas tostadas. Toasted tortillas. Toasted. Tortillas. Tortillas. Ajá. tortillas. Mire, en el menú de los gringos, ahí aparece toast with butter. Ah, toast with butter. Ajá. Tortillas with butter. butter. With butter, cream or cheese. Butter. Okay. So let's go to the conversation. See this here? Ah, oh, it's not responding. Give me a second. See this here? There. All right. Have you visited the platform? Yes. Okay. What unit are you doing? I have finished. Oh, you're finished already? Yes. Oh, good. 
Okay, so we got this here. Do you see the conversation? No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What is the name of the conversation? Fish for breakfast. Fish for breakfast? Conversation? ¿Alguna vez ya comido pescado en el desayuno? Yes. <laughs> one, one. One time. One time. Okay. ¿Y los demás? ¿Alguna vez pescado para el desayuno? Tuna count as fish? Um, not exactly, but it, it's kind of tuna, tuna sandwich. Ok. ¿Cuál es lo más raro que ha comido ustedes? What Milk animal? With tortillas. Milk with tortillas. Milk with tortillas. It's delicious. Being <laughs> the cow. Being <laughs> Ok. Tamal and with milk. Tamal with milk. Ok. That's... In milk. Oh, tamal in milk. Yes, tamal okay. de lote. Ok, fine. It's very otro? delicious. Calabaza, ah. calabaza, calabaza in milk. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. It's delicious. All right. Good. The one I'll watch. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> that's delicious. All right. ¿Algún otro plato exótico que haya probado? Somebody, anybody? Have you, have you tried armadillo? Yes, I... No. It's delicious armadillo. armadillo. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Poor armadillo. Yeah. I, I like armadillo. Yeah, armadillo is good. The meat is good. Yes, this meat. The color is a little bit different, but the but the meat is good. Yes, it's delicious. Yes. Okay. Rabbit. So, rabbit. Rabbit is good. Rabbit. Rabbit is good. Rabbit. Rabbit. Toast. Uh, roast. Rabbit. <coughs> yeah. Barbecue rabbit. Barbecue rabbit. Okay. Good. Okay. So, how many people do we have in the conversation? Two. Two. Two what are Two the names? People. What are the names? Sarah Kumiko. Kumiko. Okay. Kumiko. Sarah and Kumiko. Kumiko. Sarah and Kumiko. Yes. Okay, lo voy a leer una vez. You pay attention y después usted se pone a leer. Listen up. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Any questions here? Preguntas. What, what One more in time. Finish, in Finnish Oh. In Finnish line, Sarah? Yeah, the try, last try. lines, las últimas líneas, the last lines. The last line. Yes. The last line. But I like to try new things. I try new things. ¿Qué le está diciendo ahí? Quiere intentar cosas pero nuevas. Yo, pero a mí me gusta... Probar cosas nuevas. What is... Probar. Ah. Yeah. Try means try, probar. Try is, is probar. Try probar. Is probar. Yeah. Probar. But I like to try new things. Pero me gusta probar cosas nuevas, le dice. Any questions? 
questions, questions. No. Okay, so uh, did I send you this image? Les envié esa imagen. No. No. No, verdad. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Ahorita también si puede, le puede hacer captura de pantalla. Permítame de que está esto. Está acá. Vamos a compartir por el WhatsApp al chat. Y ahí está. Do you, did you receive it? No yet. Not yet. Sí, aquí todavía me aparece que está pendiente de salir. Let me check, let me check. Retry. Sí, no, no, no está saliendo. Ajá, ajá. Ok. Hoy sí les cayó, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Fish for breakfast. Ok. Solo voy a poner a trabajar en parejas para que practiquen ambos personajes. Si digamos empiezo a trabajar yo con Felipe, al inicio soy Sara, pero al terminar cambiamos y después yo me convierto en cúbico. ¿Es that clear? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes. Yeah. Ok, so let me check this here. Break rooms. Ok, we have eight people. Cuatro grupos. Here we go. Hello again. Hello. How are you, Geraldine? I'm fine, thank you. Good. How was your weekend? Geraldine? Como? How was your weekend? ¿Qué le pregunto ahí? ¿Qué hago en la semana? No. No. How oh. was? ¿Cómo estuvo su ah. fin de semana? Uh, How was your weekend? Fine. Good. <laughs> Did you visit any friends or family? Uh, in the vacation in, in the beach. Oh, good. <laughs> what beach? Uh, Metalillo. <laughs> Metalillo. Very good. Nice. Aquí le dejo a Pamela para que practique. Ok. Very good. Hi. Hi. Ok. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? I have fish, right? It has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, uh, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. 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 Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for, for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Good, Let very good. Teacher. Yes, Genesis. ¿Qué quiere decir let's have breakfast? Desayunemos. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's have breakfast. Yeah, let's. Este let's se utiliza como para hacerlo juntos o algo así. Eh, sí, el let's es la famosa expresión que se ocupa cuando alguien lo está invitando a hacer cierta actividad. Entonces, si yo le digo, quedémonos, yo le voy a decir, let's stay. Ah, si le digo, vamos, okay. le voy a decir, let's go. Si yo le quiero decir leamos, le voy a decir let's read. Y así sucede. Y comamos, let's, let's eat. Let's exactly. Exactly. Ah, okay. Estudiemos. Let's study. Good. Let's study. Comencemos. Let's start. Let's start. Let's begin. Y así sucesivamente. Uh -huh. Si usted le dice a alguien, va pues cocinemos, let's cook. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Yes, very good. Teacher, ¿y estilo es still? Style. Style. Style, Style. yes. Style. Style. Uh -huh. Y breakfast es... Breakfast o breakfast? Desayuno. ¿Sí? Si, si usted solo pone la palabra, eh, la primera que es break, si está uh -huh. solita, usted pronuncia break. Pero si ya la une y usted quiere decir desayuno, no va a decir breakfast, sino que va a decir breakfast. 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 Solamente suena la E. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any mm -hmm. other question? Soup o soup. ¿Cómo se pronuncia soup? Soup. 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 Con soup. una U. Porque si usted la pronuncia con una O, está diciendo jabón. Jabón. Uh -huh. Soap. Soup. Ajá, soap. 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 So, palmolive, dove, that's soap. Soup. Y soup. Es sopa. sopa. Yes. Oh. Do you like soups? Yes. No. I like soups. Yeah. Soups are good. Soups are okay. good. All right. Thank you. All right. Good. Very good. Thanks. Sure. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. And soup. Fish for breakfast, that's interesting. 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 Yes. Interesting. Three syllables. Interesting. 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 Yes, interesting. three syllables. Three syllables. In interesting. Yes, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Sometimes okay. we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Yeah, green tea. Well, well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Good, very good. Okay. Vladimir, do you drink green tea? No, I don't like. Maria, do you eat, drink eat, uh, green tea? Yes, I like green tea. Yeah, green tea is good. Green, green tea, tea is good. Yes, I know, green tea I know. Is <laughs> Because it's very, very... Dulce? Sweet. Sweet. It's very sweet. But tea is not sweet. Uh, in the, the deposit, the McDonald's? Is sweet. Ok, but you are talking, está hablando de la bebida fría, la que es como fresco. Sí, sí. Pero o sea, la que ya viene así preparada, que okay. venden en los restaurantes, bien dulce. Ok, ya. Yeah. Sí. But it's better, mejor comprarlo en el súper y, y no echarle nada, así puro. Uh, sí, I, I, buy, I buy in the uh, um, supermarket green tea in the bag. 
in the bag is green tea. Exactly. It's in, in Primark. In primar. It's uh, um, uh, barato. Cheap. Cheap. It's cheap. Yes. The, the bag is uh -huh, green exactly. tea. Exactly. Exactly. It's delicious. Yes. The taste is not good. El sabor no es tan agradable, pero los beneficios son maravillosos. Yes, yes, okay. of Yes, of course. All right. Good. <laughs> Let's return. Okay. Vamos a regresarnos al... Let's return to the session. Teacher? Hello? Hi. Okay. Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay. Do you have any questions about the conversation? Yes. Yes, Felipe? No. What is the pronunciation of Salad or salad? No, salad. 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 Do you do you like salads? Salad. Salad is um of offer. No, salad. No. Salad. salad. Salad is salad. Salada. Salado. No. Salad. Um. Ahorita le ven el chat de la plataforma. Ok. Salad. Salad. What's the meaning of salad? Ensalada. Ensalada, exactly. En sub, sub rice and sub. Soup. Ah, uh, soup. Soup is sopa. Is sopa. Yes. Soup. Y les pongo que soup se pronuncia con una U. Soup. Soup. Porque si Soup. usted dice, si lo pronuncia con una O. De jabón. Exacto, ella es jabón. Yeah. So el oh. primero es soup, this is soup, and this is soap. 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 Y que no es solamente una O, sino que es una, así ve. Soup. Soap. O, oh. O, oh. soap. Soap. Yes. So, so, yes. do you so, like salads? Yes. yes, I like salads. Do, salad. do you prefer pastas, natural? How do you prefer your salad? I, I salad, I prefer salad with, uh, gra with gram. Cangrejo? With? Oh, uh, with gram. crab. Grab. Crab. With grab. Grab. No, con C. Crab. Ah, uh, crab. Yes, crab. Crab. Exactly. Crab. In, in, cor, in cor, elotitos? corn. Elotitos? Corn. 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 Yes. Corn, corn is delicious. Yes. Corn yes. is delicious. Okay. Um, Any questions about the conversation? Questions, questions? No. Questions. no. no questions. Okay. No questions. So right now, we're going to start with a new topic. And we're not going to finish today. Because it's nine, what time is it? It's 9.45. We only have uh, a few more minutes. However, I will show it to you. No vamos a alcanzar a terminar el tema. Pero no vamos. Vamos a empezarlo. Okay. Um, do you see the page? 
face. Yes. Ven la imagen? Yes. Yes, what's, I see. What's the name? Uh, name. Frequency. Ajá. Adverb of frequency. Exactly. Ahí en el chat del WhatsApp, ahí le mando una palabra que significa bold. ¿Ya la vio? What do you always do? You bold. ¿Ya vio la palabra ahí en el chat? Bold. 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 Bold, bold. quiere decir las, le las letras negritas. Bold. Mm. ¿Cuál es la palabra en letra negrita del número uno? Always. Always. Number two. Oh. Oh, almost always. What about number three? Usually. Four. Often. 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 La letra T es callada. Often. Uh, often. What about number five? Sometimes. Number six? Hardly. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. What is hardly ever? Okay, what's the meaning of hardly ever, people? Como casi nunca o difícilmente. Exactly. Hardly ever is difícilmente, casi nunca. Allá mm. las mil. Number seven. Seldom. Seldom. Uh -huh. Seldom and hardly ever are synonyms. Synonyms. Seldom and hardly ever are synonyms. Synonyms. Yes. And number eight, what is number eight? Never. Never. Okay. Never. Entonces, todas esas palabras que están en negrita se le llaman adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. Adverb of frequency. What is the function of adverbs of frequency? The... Con qué frecuencia? Exactly. Nos indica con qué frecuencia usted hace cierta actividad. Look at the first example in number one. We have always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly okay. okay. ever, seldom, and never. never. Teacher. Okay. Yes? What is almost always? Almost always. Casi siempre. La okay. palabrita sola, almost, significa... Casi. Ok. Casi. Almost. O sea que digamos que el, el más frecuente es always. Correcto. Siempre. Sí. Y cada adverbio de frecuencia tiene un porcentaje según la frecuencia con lo que se hacen las cosas. Si yo le digo always, eso representa el 100%. Si yo le digo never... ¿Cuál será? Nunca, cero. Exacto, cero por ciento. Si yo le digo seldom or hardly ever, estoy hablando un 15% apenas. Casi. Porque le estoy diciendo nunca. casi nunca. Rara vez. So when we say sometimes, en la número 5, sometimes, ¿Qué ¿Algunas dice? Veces? Algunas veces, ¿Algún? por veces. ¿Algún tiempo? Y se representa con el 50%. Si yo le digo, sometimes I go to church, algunas veces yo voy a la iglesia, quiere decir, cuando yo digo do, algunas veces, estoy hablando quizás dos domingos de cuatro. Porque sometimes representa un 50%. Ok. Usual, uh, often. Often, la número cuatro significa seguido. 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 Y tiene un 70%. Ok. Usually. Usually, usualmente. Al, ajá. Alguna. Ajá. Te pega al 80%. 80, usually. 
almost always, que casi siempre, estamos hablando de un 90, 95. Y el uno que habíamos dicho que era siempre, 100%. Ok. Ok, what do you always do on the weekend? ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? Always, siempre. ¿Qué, ¿Qué haces todos los fines de semana? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es haces algo, fines de semana? Algo ¿Qué? que usted siempre hace los fines de semana. ¿Qué haces, qué siempre, qué haces siempre los fines de semana? Ajá. Can you give me an example of something that you always do on the weekend? Algo uh, que siempre hace usted los fines de semana. Vamos a ver. I, I, going, I am playing I'm soccer. The, I play to... soccer. Okay, very I good. I, said, I always play soccer on the weekend. I always play soccer on the weekend. I always play soccer on the weekend. Okay, alguien más, ¿qué es lo que hacen siempre el fin de semana? I always teacher. How do you say ordenar? Ah, uh, ordenar what? Ordenar la cama, ordenar el cuarto. Oh, clean. You can say clean y ahí abarca todo. Clean como limpiar. Okay. Mm. I always clean my house. Very good. I always clean my house. Very good. Alguien más que ha, algo que siempre hay uh, lo hace los fines de semana. Oh, wash my car. I always wash my car. Okay. What about number two? Algo que usted casi siempre lo hace en las noches. I almost always to sleeping. Okay, I almost always to sleeping. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Casi siempre se duerme. <laughs> no hay. It's always. I era always. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Vaya, un ejemplo de algo que usted haga casi siempre. I almost always uh, watch TV. Okay, good, good. I almost always eat dinner. Good, good. What else? ¿Qué más? Anybody? Ok, la número tres, ahí sí que todos la responden. What time do you usually get up in the mornings? ¿A qué hora regularmente se levanta? I get up, I usually... Um, yes, I usually I get up. Usually get up 6 p.m. 6 a.m. Wow. A.m. Oh, interesante. Yeah. Monday in the morning. Okay. Friday. Uh, in mm -hmm. the morning, every any day. In the morning. Okay. What about number four? Where do you often go after class? Después de la clase, ¿hacia dónde se dirige? I go often, often, often era seguido. Yes. I, I often go to sleep. Okay, you said I usually, I often go to sleep. I I often watch TV. Okay, good. After class. All right, good. Anything else? Algo más? Any others? Often. What is it? I often go to I often go take a shower. Okay, I often take a shower take a after shower. class. After class. All right, good. Okay, so listen, we're going to stop here. Nos vamos a detener acá.
And we will continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions? No question, teacher. No okay. question, teacher. Okay, so good night. Thank you for your time. Bye. We will see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. See you later. Good night. Bye-bye.